guys, Risque here, and today I'm going to be reviewing Lady Gaga's new-ish single, Perfect Illusion, because it's been, it's been out a minute. The song was not well received at first by the general public, like critics appreciated it, and it seemed to do well on the iTunes charts, but a lot of people did not like it that first go around. Me like, being one of them, if you hear me <laughs> in the background. <laughs> I will say, Mosey, who's in the last video and is sitting over there, she was not the biggest fan of the song from the get-go. Uh, I am weird, and I liked it a lot the first time I heard it, but a lot of people were saying that how you just need to hear it a couple times, and then you're good to go. It's kind of like art pop in that regards, which I also liked, so anyway. One commenter was saying how that not every song, that songs shouldn't have to grow on you. And another person was commenting and saying how, well, a song shouldn't have to be instantaneous either, which is totally true. Like, you should want to hear a song a few times to actually fully appreciate it and grasp it and love it for what it is. Because you don't always fall in love with people the first time you meet them. You do not. And especially since Gaga has just consistently done really amazing things and we know that she's capable of that. And so I think a lot of people were kind of disappointed just because they all had a different idea of what they wanted her to release. Because like some people's favorite album was The Fame, Cough Cough. Some people's <laughs> favorite album was The Fame Monster. Cough Cough. <laughs> some were Born This Way, some were Art Pop, and all of those albums sound incredibly different. And so I just think everybody was trying to kind of push that album onto whatever the song was going to be. And then she comes out with something completely different that she's never done before. And so... And I think that happens to older artists, like they don't get the chance to experiment as much like when you're a new artist you get to explore your sound way more exactly because people don't expect things of you but a lot of people had a lot of pressure on gaga especially since it's been three years since we would heard anything pop from her because i'm not the biggest jazz fan so cheek to cheek didn't really didn't really vibe with me that well <laughs> but you know we had been waiting for so long and then the, the one thing i am mad about why is the song only three minutes? Oh. Why is the song so short? It needs to be a full four minutes. Full almost five minutes. Like maybe going on ten. I'm like, let's <laughs> let's just have the whole album be the song. <laughs> like I'm fine with that because it's so good. Ooh. And it's just apparently the song isn't about Taylor Kinney. It's not about him. Turns out that she said in an interview that it's about you have an idea of this relationship that you're in and then you wake up one day and you're kind of disappointed with yourself because it wasn't real and you're like, why did I waste my time doing this? How did this happen? Like, what went wrong? It was that happens to everybody. Like, that's, that's so true, though. Mm -hmm. Where you're just like, oh my god, like... Like, why not delude myself into thinking this was going where I wanted it to? Exactly. And so apparently that's what the song is about. So it's not about Taylor Kinney, guys. But you never even thought this was about Taylor Kinney. Because I was like, they had a really good relationship and they just happened to break up. Exactly. Like, their separation will seemed very amicable and friendly. And so. But yeah. But then she released the video, which changed lives. I love that her butt and vagina are just like constantly on the verge popping out <laughs> i'm like yes gaga slay that crop top is very cropped <laughs> but she's just like being dirty and weird and flipping her like really hypnotic ponytail around and Ooh, she's pulling us into her dirty desert wet dream and i love it it's fevered like her makeup is on fleek i love that it's kind of understated compared to what she usually does and it, she's just very i love that you can see like so many of her tattoos and i i was living for that video i was like please give me all of this like dirty grungy rave she's so tumblr in this video she's so tumblr like tumblr personified is what that video is <laughs> we're all excited for joanne which comes out i believe october 26 21st october 20 something which i liked that the album cover was just like her standing profile with just a hat on and a background i was like okay give me all this like very calm profile picture i'll take it like i really enjoy understanding gaga i mm -hmm. really do she's very pretty and a very like she's conventionally pretty but she's still unconventionally pretty too like she's just a very beautiful person to me so i like to see her 
without all the theatrics. Exactly. Ooh, cause Basic Gaga is a perf Gaga. Oh. Basic Gaga is goals. Slow. Slay Queen. <laughs> I look like want to say that every video now. Slay Queen. You just count count the Slay Queens. That's a game for you kids at home. Count the Slay Queens. Take every time you hear a Slay Queen, take a shot. Yep. I'm gonna be tumbling around. <laughs> Which okay, another disappointment. Why is the deluxe track list for Joanne only 14 songs? Again, why the shortness Gaga? Like, why is one of those songs like a different version of the song that's on the standard <laughs> track list? Like. Gaga, it's been three years. I, I need more from you. You you have to give it all to us. You have to give it all. Brittany released an album with 17 songs. She pulled a match. Come I on like now. That. Like, not comparing artists. Calm down, internet. Not comparing anybody. Don't have a war, please. Because <laughs> I can just imagine. Ugh. Yes. I've, I've seen those comment sections. We know. We know. Been in the trenches. So, if you enjoyed this video, go ahead and subscribe, share with your friends, give a big thumbs up, leave a really mean, nasty comment, and look out for future videos. See you guys next time.